one year since crack allegations. Guess who's coming to town? And the secrets to beautiful skin. I'm Afan Chaudhary. Welcome to Globe Now. Where were you on this day, May the 16th, when the first allegations about a Rob Ford crack video surfaced? The website Gawker posted the story, and ever since, it has been a Rob Ford year. People are tweeting about it today, calling it the Rob Ford anniversary. There's no question the Toronto mayor has grabbed headlines, whether at home or around the world. Almost six months after the first crack video allegations, Rob Ford would admit that he had used crack cocaine in a drunken stupor. And that was the birth of one of many Rob Ford memes. It would take nearly a year for him to take a leave of absence and enter rehab. But over the course of the year, the Rob Ford story dominated city politics and late night TV. So, what will the next year hold? Rob Ford says he is still going to fight for re-election, meaning the saga will undoubtedly continue. Stay with us. Up next, we talk about the royal visit to Canada. Prince Charles and his wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, kick off their Canadian royal tour in Halifax on Sunday. And the Globe's Atlantic Bureau Chief, Jane Tabor, joins us now from Halifax, where the city is busy preparing. Welcome, Jane. Hi there. Well, we all know the royal brand has been lifted, courtesy of Prince William, Kate and baby George, but what about Prince Charles and Camilla? Well, it's going to be interesting to see, but here in the Maritimes, there's you know great support for the for the monarchy, so I don't think there'll be any problems uh, here when they when they come to visit. It's a, and it's a very quick trip. They're only spending, you know, almost half a day in in Nova Scotia on to Prince Edward Island, where they'll be spending a full day there, and then on to Manitoba four-day visit, packed full of events, uh, so there won't be a lot of time to for protesters or, or anything like that. And I think the brand's strong. I mean, Prince Charles is has been here now about every two years introducing uh, Camilla, his, his new wife, basically, to Canada and to Canadians, and to ensure that the uh, crown and, and the monarchy is still relevant here, because, of course, he will become King of Canada. Now, speaking of Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, mm -hmm. she has suffered some personal yes. tragedy recently. Tell us about that. Yes, her brother was uh, was killed in a sort of a bizarre fall in, in the United States. He was a big fundraiser for uh, for the environment some talk uh, that she wouldn't be be doing this tour. But here she is. She's a real trooper. And in fact, very well liked by the by the British press. Two years ago, the royal couple was here in the Maritimes. They were actually in, in Gage Town in New Brunswick, in St. John, New Brunswick. And I was talking to some of the British photographers, and, and they really like her. She's mm. like full of full of fire, and she she's lots of fun, and and she's uh, she's very kind and very generous to them. Okay, let's talk highlights of the trip because they're in Nova Scotia, they're in PEI yeah. in Manitoba. What can we expect? We can expect a lot of meetings with uh, with military and with youth. I mean, that is a real focus of, of Prince Charles as well. Camilla will be doing some separate trips. Will she be meeting in housing developments? And uh, and she's going to the Royal Winnipeg Ballet when they're on the Manitoba leg of the trip. There's uh, some fun happening in, with the War Brides, meeting them 21, which is the Museum here in Halifax, and it's, they're always enthusiastic and energetic. In Manitoba, they're going to be, uh, Chris is supposed to be feeding a polar bear, a polar bear named Hudson, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes. And in Charlottetown, it's the 150th uh, anniversary of the Charlottetown uh, Conference, which led to Confederation. So this is very much looking back, but also looking forward to uh, in, in Canada. Very interesting, Jane. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Well, we want to hear from you. How important is the visit by Charles and Camilla to you? And do you support the current arrangement between Canada and the monarchy? Well, there's no doubt the royals always look their best and never too made up. Now, you can too, says beauty writer Ali Dean. She has some tips on how you can look great without any makeup. Take a look. The no makeup trend is pretty self-explanatory. It's about no makeup, uh, using as few products as possible, really focusing on skin care to bring a natural radiant glow from the inside out. It's less about concealing and masking who you are and more about highlighting your individuality and this look really does that. The no makeup look can work for everyone, although it's really daunting. If you don't have a flawless complexion, if you don't look like Rosie Huntington Whitley or another supermodel, it might be intimidating to leave the house without a stitch of makeup on. I think there are actually five products that you should stock in your vanity to sort of distill it. 
um, they're all focusing on skincare again. So the first being a cleanser that really will get all the impurities, dirt, and oil off your skin. Second being a toner targeted to whatever your skincare issues are. Third, obviously, moisturizer, so important. And today on the market, there are so many different moisturizers that are multi-purpose. An eye cream as well, dark circles are an issue for everyone. And then finally, an exfoliator to help slough off dead skin cells and really purify and even the texture of your skin. I think the importance here is catering your skincare routine to your specific skin type and the issues that you have you have to remember that less is more and it is about transition. Maybe your first day you don't go for a completely bare skin, you layer a tinted moisturizer with a semi-sheer powder on top. The key really is to be able to see your skin through your makeup. Now there are so many different powders or formulas that are illuminating, um, which means you don't need a lot of the product on your skin to really create a sheen and instantly sort of mask or diffuse imperfections. So less can really be more in this sense if you choose the right product. And you can get more tips and tricks on how to achieve this no makeup look in the Globe Style section on in Saturday's paper. So do look out for that. That's it for today's show. Thanks for joining us. If you've got a moment, hop onto Twitter and tell us what you think. Do you have a standout memory from the Rob Ford saga? And what about the Royals? If they're traveling to your city, are you planning on attending any of their events? You can find us at Globe Now. I'm Yvonne Chaudhry. Thanks again for watching.